today we have a B9S5 this time. This one has come in because it wouldn't start. It came in on the back of recovery. We disconnected the camshaft position sensors and magically the car starts. So I believe what's happened is the rocker arm has failed, popped off its seat. It must have hit the trigger wheel where the, the sensor picks up where the camshaft is. It must have damaged that, and now the rocker arm is probably laying down there somewhere, come to sleep. Take an engine out of one of these, it isn't too bad. You got some hoses, you got wiring, fuel hoses, evap, some more coolant hoses. The exhaust gets disconnected from underneath. On the front, we only really got the intake pipe. Airbox needs to go. There's some wiring underneath the airbox. That needs to be disconnected as well. And then underneath, we only really got to disconnect the brakes. We're going to take the brakes off the off the hub. We just don't want to start on doing brake hoses. And then what else? What else? Subframe bolts, obviously, and the prop shaft in the middle, but. That's about it really to take an engine out of a B9 S5. Disconnect the suspension, we'll be taking off these two bolts from here. We'll be removing the brake caliper from the hub. Find here we have what do we have? We have more wiring, some coolant hoses we need to disconnect. There's a, uh, you can't see, but there's a plug there for the engine mount. We're draining the coolant in a second as well. This intake pipe needs to come out as well. There's a couple of plugs up here as well.
the engine is out, but unfortunately there was too much background noise and you couldn't really hear what I was saying. But essentially I was just trying to give you a rundown of what needs to be removed. So things like the wiring, the high pressure fuel pump, the different coolant pipes on the back, the fuel pipes, the exhaust needs to come off, but there's not much point me telling you what needs to be removed because you'll see it anyway, so we'll get straight to stripping it. Thank you. 
I hope you found that teardown interesting. So from what I found this engine definitely needs 24 new rocker arms and a new exhaust camshaft because that camshaft is not reusable. But the camshaft adjusters actually look pretty good considering they have over 100,000 miles. I've seen much worse condition ones with less than half the mileage that these have and it makes you wonder if the low mileage engines are just mileage blocked or maybe this customer just serves his car regularly, who knows. But now the customer needs to make a decision whether he wants to replace the timing chains and the adjusters just for peace of mind because it will be the same amount of labour to re reseal the rear timing cover which is leaking and also he needs to decide whether he wants to replace the water pump and thermostat that's at the front because it is starting to leak and it would make sense to replace it whilst the engine's out because it's a lot easier. Anyway, that's the end of this one. In the next video, which I still need to edit, I'll be putting everything back together and you will find out what the customer decided to replace and what to take a gamble on. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.